Aujourd'hui, je, je vous emmène dans un jeu norvégien. Oui, ça va être un stand norvégien, Grut. Et il va vous amener du frais. La canicule arrive, je vous rappelle. Et le coronavirus n'est pas encore fini. <rire> on va se marrer cet été, je crois. Euh, on part dans un jeu qui s'appelle Drogen. 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 Et donc, Drogen, c'est un jeu qui m'a un petit peu tapé dans l'œil, puisque euh, il nous invite à se balader, à se balader dans ces endroits qu'on ne connaît pas forcément, la Norvège ici, et puis à y vivre une aventure qu'on espère trépidante et plutôt jolie. C'est ce qui me semble avoir vu dans le trailer. On y va. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me... Edward. Edward Charles Hard and Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy. Promise. Well, piffle and phone is baloney, teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old people. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravelick? 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 It's an odd language. She's there. How can you know for sure? She's my sister. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss... Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb, we all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way. Just to chase Norway. her down. And everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it, because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. Apparemment, je suis barré pour une aventure avec un binôme assez pittoresque. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? Alors comme d'hab, eh, je, je vous épargne les mouvements souris qui sont un petit peu trop vifs et on va passer sur le pad. I believe it's that farmhouse, all the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on, let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet and... you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Ready? Wait. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch no, out don't for... Don't be a wet blanket. 
A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just stay close. As long as you keep up with me. Ugh. Dear Mr. Harton, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Or as faithfully Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Where are you? I'm up at the farm. I'm by the Are you, Lissy? I'm waiting for you at the farm. took you so long. I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is a... 
this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Certainly not. I'm going to sit down and wait for the Fretlands. Maybe there are extra comfortable chairs upstairs. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. This is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. Non, c'était Dépêche Mode. Quel manque de goût. Euh... <rire> Look, family pictures. They must be the. Uh, what did you call them? What's on the tip of my tongue? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and John. Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923. Wait, is that? Are they? It, who's? They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26, 1899. <laughs> we'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't Anna Fretland have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. Alors, pour les gens qu'on va rater la mise en bouche, euh, je rappelle quand même que l'époque, c'est 1920. On est en Norvège en 1920. Et vous l'aurez compris, on est venu chercher ma frangine qui a disparu. Et du coup, bah, je me suis euh, entiché de ce binôme plutôt perturbant, je pense, qui, qui ne va pas manquer de nous pimenter l'aventure. Dear Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be arriving. So where are they? Do they even have calendars? I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna, Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. Home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, Teddy Bear. Oh, the thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide open wilderness. Where do you think they. You can see uh, the whole village from up here. Do you want to go sightseeing? Tomorrow. It's getting late, and the rain's not abating. Did you hear something? No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half mast, but no sign of life out there.
Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. Operations were suspended after the accident. C'est marrant quand on a une mine dans un jeu en général il y a toujours un accident sinon ça sert à rien d'avoir une mine. Donc... Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johan Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johan was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go awry. That's a grim sight, old beam. I'm exhausted and soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's. Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Uh. Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... that's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from York. I uh, just need to, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Well, what if the fret? I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just going to... Shh. Elizabeth? Is that you? Betty? Lissy. Lissy, are you here? Alice! There's someone outside. It might be Betty. Donc vous l'aurez compris, on est dans vieux simulateur. Je ne sais pas courir, parce que sinon mon cœur va lâcher. Je, 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 je ne sais pas me passer de, de cette jeune 
qui, qui euh, est tout ce que je peux pas faire, je pense. Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? C'est clairement une trace de... Anything. Mais surtout un prétexte pour me faire sortir et m'aventurer dans la tempétitude. Me croyez-vous naïf Oui, bah vous avez raison. I can hear you. Alors, on va regretter quand même que ce soit pas... Euh... Bah, que je puisse pas courir, tout simplement. Parce que ça me ferait bien, bien plaisir. Ah si, j'ai trouvé les gâchettes. Oui, il va falloir grimper. <rire> Ça serait quand même idiot de rester coincé à cause d'un tronc qui est en travers à 10 cm du sol. Hello? El chupacabra! El chupacabra! Bien à toi, mes <rire> Et en plus, il est maladroit dans notre Zeus. Oh le gadin, franchement, on fait jamais de la montagne, monsieur. Elizabeth, are you there? Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining and you were sleeping and... Our boat, it's gone. The boat... what? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I think... Betty... It was Betty, I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window and... And she vanished into the dark towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her and yes. not... I... I mean... I saw her face and... It looked like her. If it was her, why did she run away? I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Alors la mise en place est peut-être longue, mais elle est sûrement nécessaire. Et on va se laisser guider pour l'instant, puisque on fait qu'enchaîner du script gentiment, sagement, docilement.
I will find you again. Teddy, come outside. It's a beautiful day. I just about given up on you ever waking up. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden. And she called for me. How about you, Lissy dearest? Oh, you know me, old fruit. Wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. I... It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Chasing shadow? That's very unlike you, old boy. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Well, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're peeking at us through the windows. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. I really want to go down there. Bah oui, mais moi je voulais plutôt aller dans la church, madame. <rire> le, le choix pour l'instant est vraiment euh, restrictif au possible. Tout ceci est bien trop sage. Alors on va faire la pause ici. Et puis je vais peut-être reprendre plus tard le stream. En tout cas, je vous ai fait découvrir Drogun, ce jeu d'aventure nordique qui vous mettra un petit peu de frais dans les poumons. Euh, chose dont vous aurez bien besoin d'ici cette caniculaire <rire> ce, ce caniculaire et puis euh, si le jeu se révèle être autre chose qu'un book simulator comptez sur moi pour y revenir et puis qu'on se balade un petit peu dedans allez playlist playlist bouton d'abonnement et mes salutations du soir